Well, Reeks, obviously, man, you know, we've that that's what we've been listening to for quite some time. You know, you said like, you know, you might have a hard time hearing compliments. You're about to hear some. So oh, just, just just so you know it's coming. Yeah, it is coming. So Jared, <laughs> go ahead. Why don't you kick us off, man? Yeah, I want to talk about that on the radar freestyle dude that you did. Um it was that at the B E T awards it looked like. How did that happen? And and you got one bar in there when you're done. B E T awards, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit was dope. How, yeah. So what was, how'd that come to be? Did you was that were they just there and and it was able to make it happen? I mean that's it's a big platform. It's a huge platform. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> you just remember while you're thinking about that, dude. Well, let me just say one of the lines that got me, dude. Unbreakable Bruce Willis in the poncho, dude. Bruce that's that, hard. Dude. That's hard, dude. If you don't know, if, if you, you know, know that, that movie, if you know, you know. Yeah, dude. hell yeah. That's a scene, dude. Yeah. Unbreakable man. I've been through so much. I'm unbreakable. That's one thing I love about my lyrics is like, if you know me. You know every word is meant. You know what I mean, and there's there's no fugazi shit in it. Um, but I'm smiling just because of the whole day, the whole situation. <laughs> like you really just gotta put your mind to it and and just do the shit you think about doing. Like you might be able to fly, man, for real, because it's it's crazy. Because um, me and Merck, um, the BT Awards was coming up. We had you know no way of belonging there at all. Oh come, come on, mean, man! You, I mean, you guys know that humility we kicking in. Right, right. No, I know what you mean. That's a huge. That's yeah, a big that's deal. Amazing. We didn't have an invite. We didn't. I wasn't supposed to be there. That's what I'm thinking about now. When you said on the radio, I'm like on the radio freestyle. I'm like, oh yeah, BT Awards. Damn, I did the go to the biggest BT freestyle Awards. platform. I mean, that's on the top right now. That's the one for dude. sure. Yeah, and uh, one thing I did learn from um, you know Breezeway. The Breezeway is is create your narrative. You know what I mean? So. You know, it, it's all glitz and glamour. You know what I mean. Once you see it on TV and everything, or on the on the on the screen, and it looks like yeah, Tyreek is a BT Awards type dude. But nah, I'm not, man. I'm just like you. You know what I'm saying? And um, me and Merck was just chopping it up. Like, yo, we know anybody there? And Merck has some connections. You know what I'm saying? And um, and and he hit one cat up and was like, yo. Uh, I'm gonna come to BET Awards. You think I can get a free? Oh, he hit the Gabe up from On the Radar. He has a oh, connection. Wow. wow! So he's like, "Yo, if I get there, can we get? Can I get an On the Radar freestyle? This is not me, mind you. You okay. know what I'm saying? So he's like, "If we get there, can I get an On the Radar freestyle?" And Gabe's like, "Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? If you're here, you know. And um, but it's tight knit. You know what I'm saying? So just let me know, whatever. So he hit somebody else up and was like, "Yo, I got an On the Radar freestyle. What's the address? You know what I mean? He like put two and two together or whatever." And the other cat was like, boom, this is the address. He hits me up. He's like, yo, Rick, what's up? Da 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 And I'm like, let's go. You know wow. what I'm saying? I got the whip. Let's go. You know? Oh, you guys drove? Yeah, we drove. We hopped in the whip. And we that's not, that's just not a short him, trip. We thugged it out. And as I'm driving, I'm realizing how much we don't have. Like, you know what I mean? Right, how much like, we're not we're invited. Home, we get what a moment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm sunk in. Like, yes. Yeah, yes. so it's it sunk in. Yeah. in. So then, um, so boom, so then we get to the place, right? When we get to the place, it's like, you know, a Cali set up and it's like an outside, like garage kind of situation or whatever. But instead of a, a door there, it's like 20 bounces, big dudes, <laughs> all dressed in black. You know what I mean? Drake security. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> CIA. You know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, well, how are we going to get in there? We're like, I don't know. We're going to finesse. We just act like we're going to belong there. All right, bet. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we pep talking each other, right? So we... Hop out the car, smoke an L, you know what I'm saying? Get dressed and everything <laughs> like that. We walk up, you know what I'm saying? We just walk. Like, we just head down, just walk, you know what I mean? And walk right past the security guards. One security guard was like, uh, where, where you going? It was like, oh, we got an on the radar freestyle. And it was like, oh, okay, right over there. Oh, we see that. <laughs> yeah. right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we moment. go to the first line. So um, we in there, we like, all right, play it cool, play it cool, you know what I'm saying? So we still <laughs> sitting there talking or whatever. So you know what I realize now? In today's temperature... You don't know who's who. Mm. Oh, it's not like wow. the celebrities mm -hmm. are in the '90s and the 2000s, to where you know who's who. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But now yeah. everybody's a blogger. Everybody's yeah. got a million followers wow. somewhere over here. Yo, that guy's mm -hmm. dog's so you, Instagram. Famous. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. you don't know right. who you got to be yeah. nice to. And oh, that's shit. what we realized getting there. You know what I mean? Everybody's somebody. Exactly. Boys, we got to pull up to a show. Everybody's, everybody's somebody. Right. Right. So just, for the fact that we got past the bounces, they was just already, you know, they like. They thought you were somebody. Exactly. I mean, yeah. So we're in line. So she's like, yeah, who are you here for? And Merck's like, we got an on the radar freestyle. And she's like, oh, okay, uh, great. I'm um, sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Like, we looking at each other like, word. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? She's like, mm -hmm. go down there and um, check in or whatever. So we go to the next line. There's another, you know, gatekeeper. So we on the radar freestyle. So they treat us. They roll out the red carpet for us and Damn. everything. Yo, we go past this one door 
and it went from like a regular scenario to like boom just celebrity after celebrity after celebrity after anybody you could think of any blogger everybody was just wow. in this one room and it was me and Merck. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> boys we are like, damn, we this in here, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> word. Real. You know? So, um, we, you know, mingling, taking pictures, networking or whatever. And now we in there. Now we belong. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we met up with Gabe. And, um, you know, Merck did his freestyle for On The Radar. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm just supporting Merck, you know, for real, for real. Because I know he got the connections and everything like that. You know? So, I'm just trying to get in where I fit in. And I started chopping up with Gabe. After a good conversation, you know what I'm saying, Gabe realized who I am and he was like, yeah, go for it. You know what I'm saying? He lets me get my chance, you know what I'm saying? And I was able to leverage, you know, that freestyle to get me in a lot of other opportunities. So, yeah, that's what, hey, that's what it was. Take a oh. shot, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, right. Shoot wow. your shot. Yeah, real, shoot your shot, That's man. dope. Shoot what a shot, crazy you know? story. That sounds like, <laughs> honestly, you can make like a, like How High or something like that. Yeah, like a movie yeah, like, like that. Like, or like, a like, a, like what was the... Half baked or something like yeah. something like you can make a comedy like funny. Just off of that, yeah. yeah. Off of that road trip dude, alone, right. you know what I mean? Hundred oh, percent, exactly. dude. And got celebrities like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you get some cameo. That's that's an idea, dude. That that would for sure. That's yeah. a crazy story. But it was just about us just having an instinct to you know go for it. Wow, you know for sure. Were you were you close by when he was doing the freestyle for Bootleg Kevin and Jada? Were you? Yeah, I was there. You were yeah, there. I was, the, was right there. I was recording man. it. Yeah, you probably from, watching my footage or something. Yeah, because, well, the video I saw, yeah, it looked like... It's, probably bootleg, me, it's me holding the camera. Oh, holding the camera. Oh, that's you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bootleg uh -huh. Kev recognized Merck and was like, hey, you guys need to, right? Like, is that... Yeah, how man. Hey, man, you know what? You know what's funny? Um, bringing it back full circle, when I seen Jada, man, I got starstruck for the first time. <laughs> oh, for, I bet. That's, you know there's what I mean? certain ones that yeah. would do Because, that. remember I told you back in Washington, yeah, I started mentioned. rapping because I was rapping his lyrics, you know what I mean, first. You know what Why I'm be saying? on the curb with a wild lie? I need a bear sign, <laughs> Bro, dude. Man, and and I never, you know, I'm from New York, man. We we some cool cats. You know what I'm saying? We think we are, you know, the shit compared to other celebrities. We're not gonna like, you know, sweat celebrities and nothing like that. You know, you have the people you like. But when I saw Jada Kiss, I'll be honest, it felt like, it felt like, you know, pause. But it felt <laughs> like somebody seeing a pops for the first time in a in a long time in wow, in, a, in a life. Wow. It felt like he was there for my life, my whole life. Wow. And I just never saw him. You know what I'm saying? Until this moment. Until this moment. And it was like, like it was like, yo, they, like I was talking to Merck. I'm like, yo, son, da 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 I'm on hype or whatever. And he's chilling. He's like, there go your mans. And I turn around and it's Jada. I'm like, oh, shit. And I just <laughs> walked away. There go your mans. just walked away. I just walked away. I couldn't handle it. It was overwhelming. I just right, walked yeah. away. And I was like, son. And it was like, I wanted to be like, yo, where you been? Yeah. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, remember the movie? Right. Like, yo, where right. you been? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 Where you been my whole but life? But I didn't bro. know him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it felt like I was, I felt like he's been there. Like, you know, this pair of sneakers, you know, I'm listening to the locks. You know, this, um, Greg, first day of school, I'm listening to Jada Kiss. Um, you know, taking the plane to Washington, I'm listening to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So all of these mm -hmm. moments in my life, he was there for, you know what I mean? So that's why wow. it's, it, it really means something to take uh, your role as a celebrity because, you know, you're, you're there for so many people that you don't even realize. Yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're you kicking some bullshit. You could be doing whatever, but you're there for somebody's life. Yeah. You're a part of that. You're right. that soundtrack for somebody's life. And I never even realized that. So I seen Jada Kiss at that time. So even, like, fuck the freestyle and everything like yeah, that. That was that a moment, moment for me just to see him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? To let me know it's real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. damn. You know what I mean? It's so, attainable and it's like, it it's does attainable, mean something. It's attainable, yeah. And it really means something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't even know what it meant. I just know that he was there for me. And so many times, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And, and he didn't even know it. You know what I'm saying? And if I would have, like I always say, I don't like, I don't want to meet my idols. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I would have tried to, if That's I would have tried true. to convey that to him in that moment, he'd be like, yeah, whatever, shorty. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. You know, but um, That's yeah, dope. that was for me to have, and I just, you know, and, and Merck had that moment. Merck lived up to that moment. That was a dope yeah. moment, you know yeah, what I'm saying? To be able to rap for that man, so. That's what's up, man. What a what an Dude, event! We're, this clip, was, we're clipping yeah, that whole yeah, story up in the chop yeah. bag. That, you, know, you gave us some that's classics. Crazy. Right yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. All right, well, um, I'm gonna take it back. Tyreek one, okay, album. 
right. um, Cherry Bomb, Cherry, 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 cherry bomb. bomb. Okay, yeah, 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 you like that. So uh -huh. I came, I came across <laughs> Cherry Bomb, and man, it's I, you know, I have a preference for what I would call the more R and B, the more you know, yeah. lady, lady attractive yeah, tracks. Yeah, so that tracks. one. That one had that, um, but dude, a lot of dope bars. Um, but you had one I've been waiting for it since Spaghettios. Ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, some deep shit, uh, man. But that that one deep just shit, see? Yeah, well, and that one just seemed. I listened to the other tracks. That one seemed a little bit different. Um, what was there anything special about that track that you recall or anything in particular where you were just you were just vibing to that at the time? Just vibing, man. Okay. Sometimes the beat start playing or whatever, and I'll just be dancing around, like you know what I mean. However, you decide to dance to it's probably how it came about for me. But specifically <laughs> okay. with Cherry Bomb, it was a fun track for me. Yeah, you know what I mean. I and um, a lot of the fun tracks become the ones I, I wasn't sure about it. You know, I didn't take it serious because it was so simple. You know what I mean. You can tell the ones I take serious because I get really intricate with the lyrics and the bars and stuff like that. And it usually takes somebody else to be like, yo, that's the one right there. You know what I <laughs> mean? Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's how that one came about, you Smooth, know? And it's, it's still a fan favorite. You know what I mean? People love that record, Cherry Bomb. It's a catchy oh, tune. Cherry, Cherry, Cherry Bomb. Yep, yeah. Exactly. It's smooth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy listen. You know what I mean? And you're you know almost, I mean? you were telling a story to a point. It's a story, a, yeah. A it's girl, a story yeah. to a point, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was with a chick. And you know, make a love on a balcony in Mexico. And, yeah, dude. And across the way, you can see uh, a whole drug war. Like you can see the gunfire. Stop it! Shooting in the mountains. Wow. Yeah. Or whatever. You know what I mean? That's real. Yeah, for That's sure. Crazy. Right on the other side of like Juarez or some shit like that. Um, yeah, you said on the other side of the border. Yeah, on the other side of the border. Yeah, yeah. you can see it. You can see the uh, like the you can see slow motion gunfire. Yeah, when it like, lights like up. the little yeah. rallies and stuff like that. Is that you real? Know, chasing them and is stuff you, like that. Is that, is that real? That's a real yeah, story. That's a real story. Yeah. That's, a story. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. that's a true story. They won't get it, though. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah, how could that be real? But yeah. 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 No, that's, that's a real crazy. story. Yeah. It was amazing. I knew, that, I knew that one stood out for a reason. Yeah. Man. Man. Yeah, well, it's like an episode of Narcos, dude. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it, it is. Right. Pedro Pascal in that. Yeah. And then when that and then when that happens, our border control goes crazy. Like they tighten up, shut the gates, everything. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a regular thing for them to be going crazy like that over there. Wow. You were like, Shorty, I'm going to be here a while. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I yeah. hope you got some good out. snacks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for real. So, um, man, that was a cool story. One other track just on that album, uh, Bad For Me, you used the, the Mary J. Blige Not Gonna Cry sample mm. on that one. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I, 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 say what you want about me. That song, Mary J. Blige, if that don't do something to your to your heartstrings when you listen to so it. So first of all, I'm, I was just thinking about where I'm going to get that tatted. The greatest album of all time, if I had to die or if I had to be locked on a... On a um, an deserted island? island? A deserted yeah. island. Whatever question you want to give me about <laughs> yeah. what's the record I would have, Mary J. Blige, my life. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What, yeah. what, is that, what does that album do for you? What is... It's just everything, I guess. Um, damn, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's the whole range. <laughs> it, does for, it, it does for you what Coding Crazy does for us. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Well, it just reminds me, personally, it reminds me of a time when everybody was alive in my life, you know what I mean? Back in like 97 or whatever, childhood days. Um, it, it's it's hip-hop. It's R&B. Um, you can hear her passion in it. Um, it's just a beautiful album, man. It has some of the best beats that you can sample for days or rap to for days on it. And um, yeah, I, I, I just I just love that album. That's Mary a beautiful J. album. Blige, man. That's yeah, awesome. it's the second album. Yeah, it's the greatest go. album of all man, time. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go through that. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slap yeah. that after While well, we're breaking dude. down sure. tonight, we'll, we'll put yeah. that on. Yeah, I think yeah. um that sample for um Not Gonna Cry maybe comes from the next album, which is Share My World. Or like the Wait Until It's Hell soundtrack or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. But um, but yeah, that's a beautiful that 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 record just touches <laughs> that, that everybody. Song you know is, what I, mean? so, I, yeah. I bump to shuffle a lot, and and when that comes on, man, I'm it, it gets the whole play. Yeah, it gets, yeah. The, it gets whole the whole play. play. Yeah, if you love that R and B, man, that's one of the go tos, and um, that's what I like. I like uh, you know, you know, whenever you go through something, you know, if you have those records that you can you know, play or, you know, something that's just like, okay, I haven't even gone through this unless I listen to this song. Right. And I think Not Gonna Cry is one of those records for women, you know what I mean? And um, you can choose to relate to it, you know, from whatever gender, but um, I wanted to make my own version of that, something that is like, okay, you know, you know, um, 
that I can relate to as far as, you know, the rap R&B. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's a song that, you know, that's what we do as hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so if that's what that record is in R&B, let's take it, let's sample it, and now let's make the hip-hop version. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm, that was my duty right there. You know? I think that's cool that you feel that way because I, I, as, just as a consumer of it, like, I, I think that's a huge of it and i think a lot of people are like oh no he sampled this or a lot of people you know get mad at people for paying homage or like doing something that's in no. the genre or saying like oh i drew inspiration like no i'm all original it's like really like, yeah, no, yeah exactly. like, you didn't draw inspiration from anywhere right like, yeah good exactly point. No. you did this in a vacuum that's crazy <laughs> for sure and i i say that too like sometimes i listen to um artists rap artists and um one of the first things i do like you know people let me listen to this stuff that i might not even like you know what i mean and especially if I don't like it or if I, you know, um, it's not my style, I'll ask them, uh, who's your influences? You know what I mean? Because to me, Dude. my duty as an artist is to satisfy my influences. I can't wait to mm. let Jay-Z hear this shit. I can't oh, wait yeah. to hear, let Fact. Nas hear this shit. I can't wait to let Mary hear this. Yeah, this yeah. is what I did with your record. You know what I mean? Wow. Does it make you proud? You know what I'm saying? And if that if you don't think you can do that, then what are you doing it for? Where did right. you come from? Where is this born from? You know what I mean? And rightfully so, you can be original if you're you know, um, you know your own creator, I guess you know. But I would still think that the influence is what got us into this. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? Man. So yeah, for sure, I, I like to satisfy those influences. Wow, definitely. You guys got <laughs> any 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 other music, Drew? What do you got? Yeah, actually, I do. On your last dollar album, <clears throat> Sniper, mm-hmm. I think it's the second to last track. Yes, sir. I love the beat. the nice. The flute on that is just super catchy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the line that actually caught my attention. It's I've noticed lately when I listen to songs, sometimes it's not even a whole bar where like it's the connecting rhymes. Sometimes it'll just be one line that like will catch my attention. For mm-hmm. this one, was fuck a job. I found my niche. Like mm-hmm. I feel like that's a very relatable line where. Every person that either wants to make music for a full-time living or yeah. that's trying to figure out their way in being a creator and things like that is is finding your niche. And sometimes yeah. people always have that mantra, like, man, just fuck this job, dude. I just want to be able to just do this. And I feel like that's a really cool statement. And then I like the lines that follow up after it. For sure. And one of the things that I noticed about that particular song is you have really good beat choices, but then... I think it goes towards how you write and how you look at a song based on it being a movie. You find the right pockets in how you're going to write to the song. And I think Mm -hmm. you do that incredibly well. And every song kind of has its own way of doing that without feeling like it's repetitive or it's the same sound or the same repetition. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for noticing that, for sure. Yeah, that's something that I take pride in. It's something that's hard to do. You want to find your style. Um, One thing a a lot of artists go through um, is being versatile. You know, how do you find your style and you have all of these versatile ways to approach a track? You know what I mean? And sometimes it's, um, you know, hard to be honest to who you are, you know? Um, so, you know, I try to, as the older I get, I try to narrow it down, you know, to who I am. Mm. Um, I still have fun. So as long as I'm having fun, I know that I'm being honest to myself. And as long as, you know, I'm staying my story, you know what I'm saying? Within that fun, you know, I know that, you know, I'm doing exactly what I want to do, you know? So um, I, I, I like little nuances like that as well. Like, you know, like, fuck a job, I found my niche. Like, we having a party or whatever, yeah. but you're saying some real shit at the same time that everybody can relate to. And it's like, man, damn, when you said I found my niche, man, yeah. that was my <laughs> shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so... It's it's really about, you know, if you're honest with yourself, man, we're all humans at the end of the day and we all have the same life experiences. So, you know, nowadays a lot of people don't like to listen to lyrics, you know? Yeah. Um, but if Sad they just so them. happen I feel to, bad for those people, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they say that. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. say that. They're right, just right. not paying attention. True. But sooner or later that shit's gonna hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sooner or later they're gonna have to be like, Man, fuck a job. I found my niche. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. it, sooner or mm-hmm. later they're gonna, it's gonna be natural to them. They don't, you know, they just don't know. They just, they, they, they're young in it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And um, and uh, yeah. So I like those little nuances to be there for when they're ready to catch the, to catch it. You know, for sure. What's your preferred way of writing? Like, are you a person that likes the electronic iPhone paper? Just do it off of memory. Like, what's your preferred way of like how uh, your writing process? Yeah, is? I'm an engineer, you know, so I I record myself now. So um, oh okay, so I, you just, I, punch I write thing. I record right into the uh, into the session. 
Okay. Yeah, so nice. I don't really write. You know what I mean? Wow. Sometimes, um, Damn. yeah, I don't write at all. I, I, I uh, you know, it, I'll punch. You know, and that's not to yeah. say that it's not. I'm freestyling the whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I might come yeah. up with one bar at a time and then mem- memorize it and then go back and perform it again. You know what I mean? But um, just to keep the naturalness. Sometimes, you know, I used to realize. So you know, I kind of grew up in it. So one thing I used to do, I used to write. And then I have a melody in my head. And then as I'm writing, the melody would lessen and lessen or I wouldn't be able to stick within the melody sometimes, you know. And um, going to studio time and paying for studio time, you had to be ready for those sessions, you know. So you didn't get as much leisure as you would like. So when I finally learned how to record myself, which was very intimidating, and it took me a very long time to actually do it because it was like somebody handed me the world. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, now what? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it was very intimidating to learn how to record myself. But once I actually did, I just started recording right into the session a little bit at a time just so I can stay um, honest to the melodies that, you know, came forth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Um, so, yeah, that's the, that's my preferred way, I guess, you know? Because t- if you go back, like even on, uh, you know, what was you just talking about? Um, sniper. On sniper. Sniper. If you go back to, you know, the levels of recordings that there's, that first track might be, hey, henna, 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 with yeah. the, hey, yeah, you're how, trying to find how, the pocket. Shabba, you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm just finding the pocket and then I go back. And it's so weird how those little mumbles are actually words. Like, I'll still right. rhyme. It'll still sound just like the mumble. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm saying something, but I just don't know what I'm saying yet. Or my mind's not working yeah. fast enough yet. You know what I mean? Wow. And, um, you know, just keep layering it. Like See, I said, it's really like connecting the dots. Like, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. And even then, so when I figured that out, I would I, I would go back to people and be like, okay, don't say words, just say the melody. What do you come up with? And people don't even come up with the henna henna. People don't even do that. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, okay, I all right. I got, I know. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, it's still something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually call that I was gonna say I actually call that producing. Cause mm-hmm. if you think about it, you're writing, mm-hmm. you're coming up with melodies, so you're mm-hmm doing that of a songwriter not only you're doing that you're engineering yourself so you're vocal producing yourself for sure but in that in that instance you're actually creating the song as a whole and mm-hmm. at that point you're taking away the middleman of thought process writing to medium and then having to record it with somebody else Definitely. so now you're infusing all of that into one session and one of the things i tell artists that do those things is the greatest thing about that writing process like you said the mumbles our words themselves. I think that's you actually realizing it's not really what you're saying. It's the emotion behind it. It's the Sometimes emotion. the greatest yeah, thing yeah. isn't a word itself. It's just totally. the feeling itself. So totally. I think that's where you start to get this really creative juice. And like you said, it took you a while for you to understand it and for you to actually be able to, uh, to master that craft. But now once you kind of found your niche of how you record and your way of doing it, mm-hmm. it starts to make sense to you. It makes all that writing process so much easier for you. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of times I can stop myself short on a record if it doesn't sound right just from the melody, from the um, mumbles or the melodies, you know? Yeah. Like, ah, that's not it. You know what I mean? Right. And just on to the next one, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's I, important too. Knowing just exactly cutting it out, wasted energy, sh- 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 done. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 It's hard to witness greatness, man. Like, I, I, I say that all the time. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, <laughs> my ex used to, you know, not understand what was going on. She should just hear the mumbles. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. She'll hear. She's like, You're not she not Playboy Cardi. No, you're not. Exactly, you know what I mean. She just hear the ha, 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 in the next <laughs> in the next room, and she's like, "What the hell are you doing?" Then I hit play, and she's like, "Oh, you oh know yeah, what, I mean? what so, she hears it." You know what I mean. So, um, and then some people sometimes are a part of sessions that don't do music, and they think everything that comes out of my mouth is golden, and then they see the you know the not so good things that mm-hmm. come out. You know what I mean, and the 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 trial it takes to get to that triumph, you know? So, yeah. you know? Um, I don't have a specific, like, line or insightful thought about it, but I just want to say money on money on your head off that, too. Mm, that's yeah. that's a banger, dude. That's I love that song. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. I love that one. Yeah. Dope title. It's a vibe yeah, right there. Yeah, it is, dude. It is. It's a vibe, yeah, yeah. And it, it takes you to a certain feeling. Different than Sniper, too, on the same project, different. too, you know? But yeah. different, yeah. Yeah, Sniper is a very different record. I was skeptical about actually putting it on the album because, like I said, I I have owned into my style so much and you can see it so prevalent on this album to where Sniper is kind of like left field. And I usually satisfy those temptations, I guess, with um, writing for other people. You know what I mean? 
um, in you know those ways that I can kind of be versatile. It's like, okay, this is not my style, but I can give this to such and such or give this to another person, you know. But um, I know there's a bad comparison these days, so don't hate me for it. But the one of the parallels I drew to to Sniper was it had a the beat, and then the way you just found your pocket and floated on that thing mm-hmm. had like a gunna. I knew vibe you were going to say gunna. It, it, it was. It sounded gunna. like that. that was same, gunna. Like gunna. like the same way gunna. Oh, like the gunna, same way gunna. he just like yeah. He's very melodic, and he just finds the pocket any for song. Sure. And it's usually got a flute or a guitar in the yep. background. Mm-hmm. Like that. That was like the vibe it gave to me. Dude. Yeah, shout out to his flow, man. It, it you is. You know, it's unfortunate. You know, the politics of the streets and how that whole plays in to the hip hop industry and everything like that, you know? Yeah. And how kids get caught up in it. You know, I think mm-hmm. Gunna is probably like an innocent kid at the end of the day who, you know, w- wasn't supposed to be in the situation he was in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it, it sidetracks from what he loves to do. You know, that's greatness sad. Greatness is greatness. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's sad right that, you know, he just wants to sing a song. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And the streets fucked him over. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. But Politics right. aside, dude, he didn't yeah. snitch on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still listening. So I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, you know, so, but he, he he's one of those flow gods for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, he he's a, a cat who left the game better than he found it. So, mm. Hopefully that right. um, flow that he contributed, you know, stays yeah. prevalent. You know, cool. you know, yeah. the, the DNA that you provide the game, pause, is <laughs> always going to be in the game. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. people yeah. can hate on that Drake. A that was a good pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a good pause. <laughs> but the, people can hate on you know whoever it is that you hate on. You can be a Drake hater, a Wayne hater, or whoever. But after a while, you know, their um, influence is undeniable. in the game. It's undeniable. It's mm-hmm. influenced the game. If yeah. you are a cat who raps and has a melody and sings now, you know, as much as you can possibly hate on a Drake, he did that. He's the one who kind of like, you know, made that right. um, more prevalent. You know, him, Nelly, people like that, you know? Nelly, so yeah. it's just, uh, you know, it's just how it goes. You know, leave the game better than you found it. And, you know, and um, people can take that influence and, you know, manipulate it to their own style and make the game grow. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm curious because I feel like that I, that's a view similar to how I feel. And, and I don't, you know, I don't have a dog in the, any of these races. Like, I just enjoy taking it in and, mm-hmm. like, learning about it, like, experiencing different j- styles and genres. Um, being from Brooklyn, where, as you said, it is hip hop. It's like, I feel like you could very easily be very close minded about what hip hop is and, like, you know, oh no, it needs to be this way. Yeah. There's not open to other styles. Do you think that that coming from Brooklyn though, you have appreciation for the game as a whole? And like you're saying, that's why you feel about like, oh, what did you contribute to it? Like, cause you see it as a, a larger picture versus being just pigeonholed. Like, no, it's if you're not from Brooklyn or New York, you're not actually doing hip hop. I, I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think um, being from Brooklyn and just... Well, being from New York and being wherever I could have been blessed to be from, you know what I mean? Being myself, being Money Reeks and realizing how people gravitate towards me and how people, um, what people pull from me. And if they feel it's necessary for their life, um, let's dress it up. You know what I'm saying? Let's, um, let's, 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 let's give them something to follow. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can't say Arizona is the hip hop that I know. Brooklyn is the hip hop that I know. Mm-hmm. You know what okay. I mean? That's yeah. what like you know how they say when you fell in love with hip hop. What movie was that? Brown Sugar, or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, Brown Sugar. Yeah. But it's like uh, you she know, for for me to go to a place and for them to be like, wow, let me, where'd you get those shoes or where'd you get this from and where'd you get that? Why do you say this like that? And they pull from it and they use it and it's beautiful to them. That's hip hop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Um, wow. it it it. it, it it, and that's necessary. You know what I mean? It's just as necessary as me realizing that Jada Kiss was there for me the whole time and he didn't, you know? Yeah, He's just yeah. telling his fucking story. He's just saying the words that he chooses to use. But for some reason, you know, he was the soundtrack to my life. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I don't. I think hip-hop is wherever you're from. I think it's your life. I think it's you making the best out of what you have and, you know, making something to show for it, you know? Yeah. It's changed over the years. Now you had the nerve to say that Hip hop had to be original just now. When hip hop really comes from taking other people's shit, <laughs> yeah, it was all that's samples. True, and yeah. taking that's true. Yeah, that's what hip hop yeah. is. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Right yeah. that's it. So right. technically, this other new shit is not hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you come up with your own beat, your own melody, and everything like that, it's not what it originates from. 
hip hop wow. originates from the downbeat of R and B or disco or whatever. Like the breakdowns, yeah, the they breakdowns. Play just the breakdowns. You know what I mean? And, and then, then you yeah. rap over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So in a hundred years, when they're not even doing anything close to that or sampling anymore, what will that be? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, is rock and roll still the same? You know what Good I mean? Point. Is yeah. we're deep in the th- matrix yeah, right now. We are. Oh, this turned into it. Yeah, for real. Joe but Rogan podcast. That is, you know? that is a crazy take. I love that. And so, not crazy. Crazy in a good way. That's yeah, that's profound. Sure. So that's what makes me get into it as deep as I am because New York is so small, and it's about um, it's about leveraging that. You know. So as I come to Arizona and I realize when I walk outside, there's no graffiti on the walls. Fuck it, let's spray paint this motherfucker. <laughs> right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, where'd you Make get this like idea? Home. Where'd you get this from? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We living in the future. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how yeah. I feel, like you yeah, said. It's still happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're from It's yeah. still future. happening. Mm-hmm. Everywhere I go, that's what I had to realize. I'm realizing now in this interview, that's dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it's about leveraging that. It's about taking what you know and which, where you're from. So let's say if you're from, you know, Arizona yeah. and you go to New York and it's already there. But you're like, fuck it. Let's take this, uh, you know, feather hat from, you know, the Navajo Nation. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. And bring this culture of, you know, Mexico and Hispanic to New York. That's your way of taking it and delivering it in another way. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, facts. So this is about taking yeah. what you know. You know what I mean? So Not from Arizona, but like that Mexican OT, he kind of did that. Like I yeah. feel like that that freestyle he had where he had the chicken with him. And he yeah. Had, you know, that, that was so unique in him. And I mean, obviously he was buzzing way before that, but but that's I feel like that one really about, just ended up. And it was just like, who is this guy? Yeah. That's what and culture's yeah, about. Really Makes you pay yeah. attention. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I get into the directing. That's why I get into the, the videos and... And stuff like that. You directed, not to cut you off, you directed Merck's newest video. Yeah, I directed Merck's last two videos. Um, the uh, And they're, they're, they're not even videos, to be honest, you know, to, to give myself some, you know, room to grow. Uh, they're just one takes, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, I directed those last two, you know. And that's what I'm always preaching to Merck. That's what I'm always preaching to everybody. Like, if they come work with me, what's the experience we're going pro- to provide? Mm. You know what I mean? It has to be an experience. So the last one... You know, he we the, the idea was to take a girl on a date and blah 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 and all this other stuff for Valentine's Day and it's like nah, that's not an experience really. It's like everybody's going on on a date, you know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. um, how can we give them you know like a real cultural experience? And it was like yo, how about you just sit in between a woman's legs and get your hair, hair done? Braided, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's something in itself. You know what I mean? They, they, that's some real cocoa butter grease smelling type shit. <laughs> if you've ever done it, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. And if you've mm-hmm. experienced it, you know the feeling. You know, you know the feeling of you know a uh, girl. It's uh, a very intimate thing. Yeah, it's a very intimate yeah. thing. You know, going right. between your hair and greasing your scalp, and you know what I mean. You know that feeling or whatever. And um, and if even if you don't, you can see it. You know what I mean? And you can experience it. And that's what it's about, sharing that experience. So I think that's what it's about, really, hip-hop. You know what I mean? I am who I am, and I can provide the experience that I've been through. You know what I mean? And um, But I feel like everybody has that wow. purpose, you know? That's cool. For sure. Wow. That. Before I get into my next song, can you can you bring out your wrist real quick? Are you are you rocking a go roly on us? Oh yeah. <laughs> can you, can, I, I'm sitting there, I moved it so Jared could see. I'm like, he's got he's got the go roly on right now. Yeah, well, let's yeah. go. Sound like you know what I mean. Sound like. Sound like. Sorry, I just had to had to acknowledge it. I, I, yeah, I noticed it. Nah, I've always <laughs> uh, you know ever since throw your rollies in the sky, <laughs> yeah, side yeah, to side. Nah. Yeah, Keep your hands high. Yeah, Watch his yeah, factory yeah. so they appreciate. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, now it's a big business with the uh with the with the watch thing or whatever but, them down. <laughs> you know i don't know any better I, I feel like uh you know the rolex is the end all be all you know what that's I mean? right it's still the max time it's still it's timeless, the timeless man yeah. you know what i mean i'm still i'm still you know just a kid from that bad boy era yeah you know what i mean some ups bad and downs in a, in a row you know what i mean it won't change too much a rolex is an international universal su- like symbol of oh, success yes. anyway I mean, not that a nice watch is but there's people that don't know what what an, a richard Mille or time an auto yeah. Audemars sure. or something yeah. like that like yeah, definitely but yeah. everyone knows rolex and they know the icon yeah, <laughs> the yeah. Logo. 100%. yeah. yeah, hell yeah. um a track I wanted to talk about, um, you had some dope bars on it, but kicked in with King Nova. Mm. Um, 
we didn't I didn't know about King Nova, so he snapped on that. Um snapped, but yeah. but dude, some of the bars you got crazy, bro. Uh but we went from boys to men, undata. <laughs> okay. But the one I did <laughs> and, and, and and Jared and I were we're, we're so hip hop heads that if there's a bar that sticks out, we text it to each other. Yeah. We're like, Who's that? It's yeah. the first thing we question yes. said. Yeah. But we don't know. too many sons out here, I think I need a daughter. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was hard, bro. He yeah. was like, Who is it? I was like, That's Reeks. Yeah. Hell That's yeah. Reeks you said that. Man, um King Nova pulled that out of the archive. So uh, you know, uh, my company is Vibe Therapy. I like to consider whenever I just sit down and build with somebody on a creative level, the Vibe Therapy, you know? And um, we was having a Vibe Therapy session, and uh, we was just scrolling through stuff. I did not take that very serious at all. At all. Like, yeah. It just came like, I think the love for my many blessings. I was just playing around. And when I tell you that record might have been two years old when he heard it. So it was like maybe on our 25th hour. This is after... Uh, Money on your head. Okay. Um, this is after a whole bunch of records we had just done. When we have a good session, it's usually like ten records that get knocked out in one night Damn, or whatever. Wow. So I'm just like scrolling through stuff. To, you know what I mean? Scrolling through stuff, and all of a sudden that came on, and he was like, "Yo, what is that?" And yeah. I was like, "Ah, oh, nah, you don't want that." You know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah. I didn't think he wanted it. He was like, "No, nah, that's crazy." And still, like I said, it's kind of hard to believe things sometimes. Yeah. Still, like um, when. Uh, you know, whenever I perform, like HB was like, "Yo, you better do kicked in. You better do." Oh, I'm okay, like, it's requested. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, right, I guess so. So you gotta listen to the people, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, funny. I, I think both tracks that I've talked to Cherry Bomb on that when you both mentioned that you were just having fun with those songs. Maybe that's why I enjoyed them because yep. yeah. it was it was something that stuck out to me. I was like, "Yo, something different about For those sure. tracks." Yeah, the ones like I said, the ones where I'm all trying to be all super lyrical, uh, whatever, uh, and. and and crazy hooks and everything like that. Um, you know, I go for it. I try for it, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, Kicked In was one of those records I was just relaxed and just playing around on, freestyling, you know, ball for ball, and, um, you know, in the session. And uh, it, it, that came about, you know? Hell yeah. Wow. Yeah, that but that boys to men line is a tough line. Yeah, yeah. it is, dude. Yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, yeah, you know. That, that was one of those, I grew up on boys to men, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that shit hit, bro. Yeah, yeah, people love to you know go right into boys to men. It's, it's, it's one of those records people are like. Y'all got to listen to boys to men after we, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's what do you guys one. got as far as music goes, Drew, Jerry? I uh, want to hit on fish. Uh, dope video for that. The very Arizona. You at the state fair there. Well, did you have a hand in in the re- creative direction of that? Is that one that you did direct or film or? Experience, experience, yeah. Um, you know, uh, what does fish have to do with the carnival? Nothing, you know what I mean. I I go for experience before anything else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, the song already tells a story. I feel like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My words are already telling a story. You know, so how can I do something different? You know, provide something different other than what the song is already doing. You know, yeah, you don't need to act out exactly what's exactly going what's on going on. You already on. got You're that. Get that. Yeah, you did that without cool. the visual. Mm. Yeah. Now the visual should throw you off, you know what I mean, or, or take, take you somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, because you already interpreted what you interpreted from the words, you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, um, as far as the video is concerned, um, you know, a lot of the stuff I learned was from Sound Vision, um, as far as you know how to work these cameras or whatever. He has a very very good eye. I like to cons- uh, compare him to Michael Bay, you know what I mean, oh, as far so as a director like or whatever. Mm-hmm. I love the way he swing that camera around, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, the classic Michael vision. Bay. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, you know, I've always worked with uh, John, a.k.a. Sound Vision. And, um, you know, with that one, it was, uh, you know, we waited for October so we can provide the experience of the wow. fair, you know? And uh, we went to the fair, we got the girls, and we just had fun. You know, we um, had like a little... Uh, round away kind of look, you know what I mean? I put the leather fit on or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The girls had the big bamboo earrings yeah. and the you know the gold and every all the accents and everything like that stood out and um in the fair and all the colors, you know, and the, the high quality of the video. I think it really stood out a lot, you know. It just sounds exactly like you've you. It, that's exactly the process you've been describing this whole time, where it's like you had an idea, you had a vision for it, you waited for the right time, but then mm-hmm. it sounds like you got, you know, you put the put the right gear on for it, but then yep. you got in there and just had fun. Like yep. that's where that's where it becomes organic, but yeah. it's like controlled chaos to an extent. For yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. And I and the crazy thing is the reason why it's so hard to believe. Another thing I keep touching on that is because it comes so easy to me because yeah. I'm just doing this shit that I grew up. Going with, fair. Witnessing, yeah. you know what I mean. But to other people who might not be from it, or like you said, you know, it's new to them, mm-hmm. you know. And it's just like, really, you didn't have this go. You didn't rock one pant leg up. When you yeah. up? <laughs> right. No, you didn't. This is cool. Okay, 
all right, cool, let's do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Works. And um, and you know, and that's you know, that's what people like to see that. And I realize how old I am. Is it? You know, I never realized how much they used to criticize Puff Daddy back in the '90s for recreating the '80s. And I never realized because I was still young. I never realized how close of a dynamic that was. It was just 10 years later. Yeah. But yeah. now the shit that we're recreating is like 20 years ago and it's still the 2000s. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So it's time for it to come back around. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So a lot of the things that we grew up emulating, um, you know, it's just, it's time for it to come back in a real retro way. And and the kids appreciate it. The people who remember it appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, yeah. Typically, I do like it, but I will. I can't lie. The first time I heard that Nicki Minaj, my anaconda don't oh, <laughs> slam yeah, that yeah. shit off, dude. I was, I was not happy yeah. about that. I was like, no, That's I wasn't ready for you that. You got to know what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Some Anna things can be cheesy. Damn it. <laughs> for sure, yeah. I love Nicki, though. Shout out, Nicki. Drew, what you got? I was going to say the Bad Days music video. I love the yeah. whole black and white look. <clears throat> yeah. It's very cinematic. I love that. Uh, you're in Brooklyn, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I honestly just every. I feel like every frame is like a really dope. Just blow that shit up on a canvas and just hang yeah. it on an art gallery. Every frame just has a really nice shot to it. For sure. So that's what I take pride in as far as directing. I was telling um Merck this yesterday. I was like, you know, the difference between me, or at least what I would like to be, the difference between me and everybody else is. Is um, I don't know what a director of photography necessarily is or cinematography necessarily is, but at any given time in one of my videos, you should be able to press pause and it's a beautiful picture. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a cinematographer wow. essentially. They're they're yeah. the they're the wow. picture for the movie. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. What a yeah. good way to look at it though. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So no matter where wow. you you can just close your eyes and just hit pause and you can take that screenshot and it's a beautiful picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Um, and I, I you know I get inspired from different movies. You know I like I said like I, I compared John to Michael Bay. I like to study, um, you know, because it, it, it interests me. How could you create a movie and give it to somebody else to direct? You know what I mean? Like, oh, what were you thinking? What did you see? Like, how did how do you know this person is going to be able to convey that? So I started looking at different directors and what they were known for and how they got their niche. And, um, you know, I started studying people like Michael Bay or, or a Steven Spielberg and see how he opened shots. And Arizona guy, what Steven makes, Spielberg. What makes, um, you know, Steven Spielberg different than a guy on Tubi? You know what I mean? Right. Who doesn't know how to hold a camera at all. You know what I mean? And thinks he can just press record. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. you know, as long as you're capturing a shot, it's, you know, it's people art, understand yeah. it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's really an art, you know? And um, and and now I'm starting to kind of own in on that. And, yeah, that's one thing I do take pride in. So um, that was shot by John, you know what I mean? Edited by myself. So I, like, you know, um, I was getting into the directing thing. So I started having John shoot a lot of my shots and then, um, you know, I'll take all the footage and then start putting it together. But that's what I look for in every shot, that it can be a still, you know? That's awesome. I think that's important because it's like you could read all the books, you could watch all the videos, take all the classes, you can learn all this technical stuff and all the systems. But it's like when you're able to break it down and like almost synthesize all of that into one thing that's like an easy, tangible guiding life or something, it's like every right. time you pause this, it should look good. Yeah. yeah. And Hell it's yeah. like... Oh, okay. I know what that means. Yeah. And then they can start filling in the, the dots and like filling in exactly. the gaps from there. But exactly. you mm -hmm. could tell them like, no, you wanted it. You want your exposure at this and you need this wide angle mm -hmm. lens. And it's just like, okay, like, they, but yeah. they're mechanically going through. But when you're like, no, every freeze frame is a, a portrait. It's exactly. Like, yeah, that's, oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I get, I get that. that. Like I being able that. to synthesize that is important. Dude. I, yeah. I, exactly. People say I, I explain things like, oh, I can do it now. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so I, I do take pride in that. Example. Yeah. And I, um, you know, uh, it's weird because I almost don't enjoy stuff anymore. I enjoy it, you know, like when I'm watching movies or any sort of en entertainment, you know, I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy it when it's enjoyable, you know, but I'm always looking at things from one or two perspectives. Um, I can do that. Or Your quarterback breaking down film. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, it's either I can do that shit or. How they do that shit? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I gotta figure it out. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, that's how I look at stuff. And then, and you know, like I, I'll still enjoy it within that, you know. But a lot of times, I'm like, I can do that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I just yeah. and I like that feeling. I, I I like seeing things. I like seeing the world in that way. You know what I mean? That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. It's once you see once you see behind the curtain, you're like, Word. it's actually not as difficult as you thought it was. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I would say particularly in that music video. It's funny because it's one of the shortest shots 
in the shortest scenes in the music video, which is the dinner scene where you guys are just kind of all eating dinner and it was mm-hmm. like a very casual, just set up B-roll. Where were you guys at for dinner? Um, Williamsburg. We was at a restaurant called C. It's a Thai restaurant. It's a uh, popular spot up and coming Brooklyn. Brooklyn's a million dollar neighborhood now. You know what I mean? So as rough as it was, best style, all that shit that Biggie hey, used Those to brownstones talk. aren't cheap. Yeah, yeah nah, You get a right. hell of a pod thai there, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, for sure. Pad thai was definitely on the table. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and, and amongst other things. But uh, yeah, that was a good uh, that was a good day. It was good, it was good to break bread. You've seen Merc there. Um, that was a situation to where I was introducing, you know, my uh uh Breezeway family to my East Coast family to my Brooklyn family, you know. I'm the Brooklyn guy, the Breezeway, you know, everybody else from Queens and yeah, everybody yeah, else yeah, or whatever, right. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had a lot of my guys, uh, you know, come and we all broke for every chill. We ate and, um, you know, Link, you know, I'm a genuine dude. So, you know, uh, it's not like I kick it with different crews or these people over here or these people over here. Everybody who I know can kick it with everybody who I know and they will yeah. love each other just the same. You know what I mean? That's oh, cool. It's how it should so, be. Um, it is how it should be. Yeah, that's what you saw in that scene right there, you know? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't know. If some for some reason, something about dinner scenes in movies, like you know, and um, I love in it. The Godfather and stuff yeah. like that. It reminds me of those moments where you're breaking bread and something of a moment is usually happening. Mm-hmm. So it just seemed like when I was watching it, it was just like it seems like there was something happening there that was exemplifying of like a memory or something that was a good day that needed Definitely. to be in the show. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Cool. Sure. Good love to know. Reeks, man, we appreciate you coming through, my guy. Yeah, man. You gave us interview, man. Thank you. You gave us some gems. We hope we we came correct for you. Um, yeah, no, you guys did, man. I always try to see if I like if I'm like if I'm interested or not. You know, I don't know where the interviews are, <laughs> where, where it's going to lead to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always yeah. leave like, man, I should have said this or I should have said that or <laughs> you know they don't you know know the real story or whatever. But it you know it, it's really just a, um, a vibe and it, it goes where it's supposed to go. You yeah, know? thank and you. Figure out what you're supposed to figure out about me and in the ways. But this particular interview is special you know what i mean thank you, guys you man did your thank own you work man. and i appreciate that this was uh that was this awesome. was a good one yeah, yeah you gave some incredible stuff man and i love the way you look at everything basically but just the way you break down music the way you yeah. look at like hip-hop as a whole big fan me and thank you just you. said it you're a genuine dude man yeah. it comes out so yeah, yeah i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys yeah uh you brought a lot of things full circle i, I never said it, a lot of the stuff I said today out loud. Really? All yeah. right. Oh, wow. Never. All right, wow. Drew, let's get it. Can we get From a clap? Scratch. Yeah, come on, let's get a clap. <laughs> <Yeah. for that. laughs> yeah. From scratch. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Well, Reeks, hey, man, end us on a good note here, man. What can the people expect? What can they look forward to? What do you have coming up? Um, yeah, you guys can just expect Money Reeks in his full splendor. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm tapping into all of my skills. You know, there's not one way to be in today's world. So expect more direction from me, expect more visuals. Um, I'll be, you know, applying pressure with, uh, my album that just dropped, uh, you know, the last dollar. So, you know, make sure you guys go get that. If, if you haven't heard it yet, you know, I put my all into it and now I'm going to start focusing on those visuals, you know, you know, so tap in, you know, if you like my staff, you like the, the sound, the visuals, you know, um, you know, I like to build with people. So, you know, I look forward to it. Looking forward to, you know, tapping into to the community you know hell yeah absolutely man well we're gonna keep following we're gonna keep up with everything you've been doing you. man keep grinding same. keep being the, the good dude you are man and For sure. uh, we this, this ain't the last time we'll be linking up so nah not at all not yeah, at all definitely. man not at all not at all you guys are good people thank you so much thanks appreciate man. it man for sure shout out to breezeway you know what i mean yeah go cop that last dollar and uh yeah see y'all appreciate you appreciate Drew, you man. send us off